Hello again, this is Phil from Dungeons Dragon Games, lead developer for Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga, back with you for another tutorial video. Today we're going to talk about the dragon archetype. So, uh, they're pretty different from the human units uh, in how they progress, um, in that they really don't have, um, they don't have equipment, they just kind of naturally grow and mature as they um, rapidly age. Uh, so you have a Drakeling here. This is the base dragon. That's a, you can find adult dragons, um, but it's, and it's really nice when you do. But a lot of times the recruits you find will be Drakelings, the child dragon. Uh, so dragons, they attack twice in one turn. They're very tanky, and they um, their breath attack is the same as a mage attack. And so they're basically like just very, very tanky mages that go twice. Uh, so, you know, you can imagine how useful that is. Uh, dragons are usually pretty useful in whatever game they're in, so uh, this one is no exception. All right, and so we have all we've already mastered the CP bar on the Drakeling, so that means he can just upgrade to an adult right away. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, what he does is he gains the colossal trait, which means he can no longer evade, but his attacks do a lot of morale damage. So that's pretty cool. Now, what we're going to do is master his CP and get his strength and magic and skill up with leveling up. So, these are the advanced regular dragon classes. Um, he could pick any one of these three. The red dragon is the more offensively oriented, um, shoots a fire breath, and... Um, his, atta his attack does the most damage of the three advanced dragons, but there is no status effect, so that's the trade-off. Um, and so you can see the attack power goes up a, a lot, um, but the armor and the HP, uh, not, not very tanky in compared to the other advanced dragons. The balanced advanced dragon is the blue dragon. So he gets more tanky, he gets a, a lightning-based um, Breath attack that can inflict a shock, uh, which is the same as a stun, um, so they cannot counterattack, but doesn't do as much damage as the fire breath. And then the more defensively oriented is the silver dragon, which has an ice breath that can inflict slow, just like the ice mage. And so his HP and armor go up the most out of all the advanced classes. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do silver dragon, because I don't know, I think they look cool. We're going to go ahead and master his CP bar. But wait a minute. There's nothing to upgrade to, but there is. So I'm going to go to the... What I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the tech tree. And this right here is the dual capstone dragon bond, uh, which means you unlock the dragon rider class, which makes you a flying unit. And if you have a majority of these in a squad, the squad is a flying squad that can just soar through anywhere without worrying about terrain at all. Um, to get to this, you need to have all of these, all of these, and these two capstones. So it is a late game tech for sure, but all you gotta do is play the game, you eventually will get to Dragon Bond. And you can build these guys. So, now we can become the ultimate Dragon Rider, Silver Dragon Rider specifically. Okay, promote. So, you know, the raw stats didn't really increase, uh, and he has the same thing, two ice breath attacks. But, you know, now a couple things happened. So dragons actually cannot lead squads. Um, they, they can't do it at all. But now they can, as a rider, they can lead a squad. So the cost actually is it's pretty great. You have to have a mature dragon that's mastered his tier three dragon class. And you have to have two obsidian, two gems, and you have to have the technology, the dual capstone dragon bond. But the payoff, do I even have to say the payoff here? I mean, you have a unit that bypasses terrain is a very tanky mage that just destroys anything it, it hits. Um, yeah, uh, if you have a lot of these, you win. They, they just win. So there you go. And that will be it. Oh, and check out, they have a flapping sound whenever they're on their <laughs> base screen. That's it for the dragons. Uh, we will uh, have more tutorials, video videos for you about everything in the game. Uh, do stay tuned and take care.